Hello. Just recently I said about the passage that was given to me when uh, I first became a Christian in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Later in that passage it goes on and it says this in verses 23 and following. It says, May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit and body be kept blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. And that's just what I want to think about just for a moment this morning. The one who, the one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. You know, I did say about persistence in prayer last time and that sometimes we are persistent in prayer and we don't ever see the breakthrough. But actually, we do. And even if we don't in this life, we will in the next. There's the famous story of uh, an evangelist from America, from Chicago, called D.L. Moody, Dwight Moody. And he used to travel the world and tell people about Jesus. He lived in the 19th century before television and uh, all those other bits and pieces that might have recorded his voice, that we might have heard him, like Billy Graham or Louis Palau today. But he was an immensely successful evangelist. But at the beginning of his ministry, he put together a list of 100 people he wanted to see come to Jesus. And he dedicated his life to winning them to Christ. Now, he won most of them to the Lord over the period of his ministry. But there were six who held out against him. They didn't want to know Jesus. They wanted to live out their lives themselves. But he persisted in praying for them every day. And he believed that the one who called him was faithful uh, to speak into their lives and to win them for the Lord. So he prayed for them every single day of his life. And although the other 94 had come to Christ, these six persisted in not wanting to come through. Then D.L. Moody died. And those six went to the funeral service. And at the funeral service, they too gave their lives to Jesus. You know, God's faithfulness endures through the generations, through the years, and through and beyond our lifetime. Your prayers for the people you are desperate for around you aren't limited to your lifetime. They can go on beyond your years. And the investment that you put in prayer into the lives of the people who surround you is never wasted because God is faithful. He will carry out what he says. He will speak into people's situations. You may feel weak, desperate, helpless, uh, beyond the ability to go and communicate with people that you want to see come to Christ. But your prayers have amazing power. There is another story regarding D.L. Moody when he came to London in the late 19, sorry, late 1880s. He came to London and he was preaching in London and he wasn't having much success. Anyway, a couple of uh, elderly ladies who lived at a home address in London had, uh, and they were bedridden, they couldn't go to church, had a niece who went to church on their behalf uh, and the niece came home one after the service and they asked her how it went. And she said, oh, it was great. The evangelist D.L. Moody is in town and he was preaching at the church. However, nothing much really happened. The elderly lady said, we must get on our knees and pray right now. And they spent the rest of the day bedridden, but on their knees beside their beds, praying. They prayed and they prayed, and that night many hundreds of people turned to Christ through the preaching of D.L. Moody. You never know what your prayers can do. You may never see the outcome of them, but God is faithful and he can do it. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Your faithfulness is unending. Your faithfulness is enduring. And whilst we may never see the outcome of our prayers, you do know the end from the beginning. And you do know what's going to happen next. And you can work on our prayers even when we're no longer there to pray them. 
Father, would you use our prayers and help us to be faithful in our prayers so that we can see, even in glory, your faithfulness at work in the lives of those we care about, those we love, and those we suffer for. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.